So back in our code here, what we're going to do, let's just go ahead and start implementing the lifecycle override methods here. So I'm going to go ahead and say command N. Okay. And then I'm going to go and say override methods. So click there. And then you're going to see all sort of things here. But notice that we are inside of our app compat activity, which is where we want to be. Now you will see a few differences here. So let's start by finding these on start. So I'm going to start typing on start. And you can see there is on start, I can go ahead and say okay. And then we have on start there, I'm going to continue man n. I'm going to say to override methods, I want the on resume. And it says on post resume here, I'm going to put it in there just to show you later though. So it's not on resume, it says on post resume. Now the reason why we are getting this on post resume instead of just on resume is because things have changed a little bit, but the functionality is still the same. In fact, if I come up here and I get rid of this app compact, and just have the activity, I'm going to have to, of course, implement imported class activity, notice that we have now that library activity, no longer app compact. So Keep in mind that if the moment we just go straight with activity, we're going to lose some of the backward compatibility, but I just want to show a point here. So once we say activity, we still have on post resume, but if I come down here, command N again, override, I'm going to look for on resume, you can see now we have this on resume there instead of on post resume. So again, the idea here is the same post resume, you see still works here, I can put on resume as well there and still would work. These are essentially the same things. It's just that if we are using the app combat activity, which is another subset of activity, so an activity class with more stuff, as we discussed before, then I can just go see the on resume. All right. So I'm going to put it all back as it was so that we don't get confused here. It's something just I want to show you. Okay, so on post resume, on resume, same thing, essentially, I'm going to continue here override, what else do we need, we need the on pause, say on pause, it's probably going to say, there we go on pause. What else do we need? We need on stop, so come on N. on stop. There we go. We're going to continue here, we need command N on destroy. And there we go. Okay, so we have the basic ones that we talked about earlier, which are these ones here. Okay, so we have on create, that was a given on start, resume, on pause, stop, destroy. Okay, let's see how all that will work. So the way I'm going to show you how all this works is very simple. I'm going to go ahead instead of each one of these override methods of these callbacks for our lifecycle activity here, and I'm going to put this toast inside of each one of those. Okay. There we go. So we have this on create. So I'm going to save this. And we're going to run our app again from scratch. And look what's going to happen. So on create was called very good. And all happened so quickly to where we didn't even see other states. But check this out the moment I go back. Look at that on pause was called. So that means it's still in there. And went through that process and it's gone at this point. But if you come down here again, you can see that it's still there. So I call, click back on create is called again. That means now our life cycle is complete. So it came back to our user interface, just like when we started. Now, if I come down here and instead of post resume, and I just go ahead and say I want to destroy it on resume, which should work on resume. Why isn't that right? It has to be soon post. Let's go ahead and run this again. I'm going to run this previous one here. Okay, so it's going to call on create called. Very good. So I'm going to do this, I'm going to get out of here on pause called Open perhaps another application here. So click here, I'm just going to open how about that app. Okay, so there we go, say something we so what I'm going to do, I'm going to come back here because now you notice we have every previous application this activity life cycle back. So click here, look at that on resume called notice at the bottom, there are other callbacks, other life cycles that were called, but it was hard to see, because we had all of them on top of each other. In fact, so what I'm going to do now, I'm actually going to log all of this information as well, say log for all of these, so we can actually see all of them being called. Okay, so I'm going to say log D.
In conjunction of showing the toast, we should see also a log message showing at the bottom here. So I'm going to open that. Let's run this one more time. Okay, on create called. Very good. Let's see what's happening here. We should see our log here and we want something different. This is debug log and we want to find cycle. There we go. The moment you look at cycle it says on create, on start and on resume was called. Ah, now you can see that exactly what we said it should happen in our diagram is happening. So it goes on create, on start and on resume. Now the reason why, like I said, it was hard to see the actual toast showing here. It was showing, but it just all goes in background. Okay. Now check this out. I'm going to put this to the right here. Just keep focusing here at this point. Okay. Like we did before. So I'm going to go back on pause was called and then on stop and then on destroys was called. Now we no longer have our application. However, if I come back here, let's see, get rid of that. I don't know why I opened that, but let's go back to our hello world. Look on resume. So went back from on destroy, went back for on create, went back from on start and on resume. So that is indeed why we're seeing that we're back here. Okay, so this is probably the best way to show all those cycles that we show here. And again, I come down here. If I get rid of this, click back, it's going to go back and do the same thing, right? It went on pause, stop, and all so forth. So it went on start, on resume, stay straight from start to on resume because it was already there in memory. But now if I go ahead and say click here, on pause was called and on stop was called. If I delete, look at that, on destroy was called and now we no longer have our activity. I hope this lesson here was able to show you indeed what's happening in the background and by now you should know the advantages we have of having access to all of this lifecycle override method so we can do all sort of things to prepare our data if need be to make sure to get rid of resources heavy in our application and so forth before we lose the activity forever. Okay, so I wanted to give you this full picture of what an activity is and how to leverage other than just on create method because this is what we always have seen. There are other methods, override methods, which are the life cycle of our activity that we can take advantage. And we will take advantage of this at a later time, but I just wanted to give you this full idea of how to use this. Okay, so I know this may seem a little bit weird or strange at first, but bear with me. It's important to understand this stuff because once we, like I said, Said, start going forward and have bigger applications, bigger ideas. It's important to understand how an activity works, what an activity is, and move from there. All right. Thank you so much for your time. I'll see you next.